Hello, chess base users. I discovered a new feature. Well, it's new for me. It's a feature that's been in chess base for a very long time. And I just wanted to share with you how to use this interesting feature, which is the openings book. And this should be the same across all versions of chess base. Uh, here's how it works. So you have your notation panel and everything when you're in the game window. You know, we could just play a couple moves. Here's your notation, you have your reference, training, blah, 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 all that stuff. At the end, there's this openings book. And if you're like me, when you first go to this tab, you might ignore it because there's nothing there except this button that says load static book. And when you click it, you probably open a folder that doesn't have anything interesting in it. For me, I just set this to my desktop. For you, it's probably some default place in your chess base path. Well, what this does when you get it, get it working is it'll open up a file that is like a regular chess base database except instead of just having a list of games what it what it does is it takes all the games that you put into it and then it makes a map of those games so that when you're in any position it can tell you um, what moves have been played and the statistics for all those moves so it's, it's a it's your regular opening trait but it, it's based on a, a collection of games that you specify so here's how you can use this feature you don't do the load static book what you do is you go back to your chess base and you pick your database of choice. I like to use uh, Twic, which you can build yourself by going to theweekendchess.com and downloading all the games forever and putting them in one database. And so you'll right click that and do a search. Now you have to decide what kind of opening tree you would like. Most people are probably going to want to have all the strongest players and the best games as part of their opening tree because everyone looks to the top players for their opening inspiration. Uh, but you can be more picky. I'm probably going to be really, really nitpicky for this one just because I want the file to be kind of small. Whenever you make this opening tree, it's going to copy all those games out of your database that you selected them from, and it can be quite large if you're not if you're not so selective. So let's say that we only want games that are played between players that are both over 2,500. And we also want only decisive games. So that'll be plus minus one. And this is not realistic. I don't necessarily recommend that you do this. I think you should include all the best games, including four straws and whatever. Um, but I just want the file to be kind of small. And let's say I only care about games that happened in the last two-ish years, right? So I'll just make the year number go down to 2022. And uh, then I click OK. So the result of this search is going to come up, and it's going to be a lot of games. And you can highlight all the games. And then there's this button that you might never have used before called Selection to Book. So you'll click that one. It'll ask you if you really want to do this horrible thing, uh, which is build a tree with, in this case, 38,357 games. You'll say, sure, why not? And uh, it doesn't even prompt you for where, for where where to save it, it's going to go to some direct like default path and uh, wham bam, thank you ma'am, here's your opening tree. Now the next step is, well actually it automatically does the next step for you, but let, let, let's say you messed up. The next thing is you would go to this tab, openings book, it would show that load static book option, you would click it, you would navigate to where the, the book lives, so maybe we could try to simulate that real quick. So let, let's uh, close book file and now it brings us back to that window. So we'll load static book. We'll go to the path where the thing lives. For me, I, I could put it on my desktop. And we'll just click this one and load it. And all the stuff that you saved in that tree file will come back. So I hope you like this quick tutorial. Let me know if you're having any other chess base issues. Chess base doesn't change that much version to version, for better or for worse. Um, sometimes it gets worse. So most things that you have an issue with, they probably exist in whatever version of chess base you have. All right. Take care, everyone.